Hello everyone, Ryan Baxter here, and I'm back again with another demonstration of Lumix. And today I'd like to update our talk about the Internet of Things. So a few weeks ago, IBM released a uh, GA version of the Internet of Things cloud and the Internet of Things service in Bluemix. Uh, in doing so, uh, a couple things changed uh, from the beta. Um, the way you um, access the Internet of Things dashboard and create organizations, all that has uh, changed now. So I thought it would be good to do an update to the previous videos I have done uh, around the Internet of Things to ex explain what some of the changes are and see how it works. Uh, uh, now in the GA release. Pretty much 99% of it is exactly the same, but there are some uh, differences in the way you do things. So for today's demonstration, we're going to uh, again use um, our Texas Instruments sensor tag and our BeagleBone Black. So you can see I still have those two devices here. We have our BeagleBone Black here um, that uh, has our Bluetooth adapter and is connected uh, to the internet via Ethernet. And we have our um, sensor tag here, Texas Instruments sensor tag, that we're going to use uh, as the device in this example. Um, we're also going to use the same code uh, that we had from uh, last time in our Git repo. I've updated that code to work with the new GA release of the, uh, of the IoT service, so that should uh, all be working again now. So with that said, let's get into the, the demonstration. So uh, one of the things that has has changed uh, from the beta release of the IoT service to the GA release of the IoT service is how you create organizations and register devices and get access to the IoT cloud dashboard uh, you had before. You used to be able to go to the IoT Foundation website, create an organization, register your devices, etc. there, but now everything is done through Bluemix. So in order to get an organization uh, in the IoT cloud, you have to create a service uh, uh, in Bluemix. So the first thing we want to do is go to the catalog in Bluemix here and you can see I already have the Internet of Things uh, category checked off and we have one service in that category here. So we're going to select our service and um, since we don't yet have an application um, for our Internet of Things service we're going to select to leave it unbound and that's perfectly fine because this will still give us access to the IoT dashboard which is all, the only thing we need right now. So let's call it uh, the service name, call it IoT uh, Sensor Tag, and we'll click Create. And uh, in the process of creating this new service, what will happen is there will actually be a new organization created uh, in the Internet of Things cloud for you. So uh, no longer do you have to go to the IoT Foundation website to do this. You just create the service and the organization is automatically provisioned for you. So now that our service is created, let's launch the dashboard here. This so will bring you to the very familiar IoT dashboard here. Um, it looks exactly the same and functions exactly the same as it did in the beta, so this is completely unchanged. Um, the first thing we want to do in order to get started though is add a device. So let's just go ahead and click add a device. And since we're dealing with the sensor tag here, we'll uh, select the sensor tag from the device type drop down. And we want the MAC address of the device, which is going to be the MAC address of our BeagleBone Black. So let's go ahead and get that. So I'm going to jump over to my terminal window here. And let's uh, SSH into my BeagleBone Black here. And uh, to find the MAC address of the Ethernet adapter, we can just do ifconfig uh, eth0. We see that the hardware address, which is our MAC address, is located right here. So we'll just copy that. We'll paste it in here. And uh, you still have to remove all the colons out of the string, after, out of the MAC address uh, for the IoT cloud. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll click Continue. Just like in the beta, it gives you uh, several properties that you're going to use to connect to the IoT cloud. So in order to connect to the IoT cloud and start publishing data, let's go ahead and get the code from our Git repo and, um, and run that code on our BeagleBone Black. So here we have our GitHub repo uh, for the IoT sensor tag uh, demonstration. Um, and we're going to copy the Git URL here. And we're going to go to our terminal window again and say git clone and BeagleBone Black, uh, the GitHub repo here. Okay, and now what we want to do is just cd into the IoT sensor tag directory and then into the publish directory inside of that. And this has a very simple um, Node.js uh, app application inside of it. Um, as with any Node.js application, the first thing we want to do is run npm install to install the dependencies. Okay. And now that we have our dependencies installed, 
Um, the next thing we want to do is actually run the code and connect to the IoT Cloud. But we need the properties that the IoT Cloud gave us uh, in order to do that. So let's go ahead and copy these properties here. And we need to put these properties, as the readme for the Git repo says, uh, in a file called config.properties. So let's create a file called config.properties. So we'll open up our nano editor and we'll open up uh, it in a file called config.properties. Okay. And we'll just paste the properties in that we got from the IoT Cloud in here. And we'll write that out. And then we'll exit here. And now we should be able to go ahead and run our application. So let's go ahead and type uh, node uh, sensor tag JS and start up the application. And we see that we've now connected to the IoT cloud. So let's go back to Firefox here. And we can see that we have now connected, right? The dashboard tells us that the device is connected. Um, and the other thing that is happening is that it tells us to make sure our sensor tag is on. So let's go ahead and turn on our sensor tag. And we can see that we've discovered the sensor tag and we're connected to the sensor tag. So we should now be publishing data. And we can again verify that in the dashboard. Uh, you can see that there are messages being published. Uh, and there's quite a few messages being published quite frequently here. And now the next thing we probably want to do here is build an app using the data coming from the sensor tag. So probably the easiest way to do that is to build uh, an application from Node-RED. So let's go back to Bluemix here. We'll go to our catalog. And we'll select the Internet of Things uh, Foundation uh, boilerplate. And let's go ahead and give this a name. We'll call it uh, Node-RED Sensor Tag. And we will click Create. Okay, our application is now up and running. Uh, um, next thing we need to do is bind our IoT service to uh, this application. So let's go ahead and click um, uh, bind a service. Let's find our IoT service here in the, um, in the list here and select it and click add. And then we'll just say that our application now needs to be restaged. So let's go ahead and click OK to that. Okay, our application has now restaged. Um, and this is at this point, I'd like to show you another new piece of functionality of the IoT service. So the act of binding the IoT service to any application in Bluemix will automatically create an API key and token for you to use. So if we go back to our IoT dashboard and we look at API keys, we now see that we have an API key created that we didn't have there before. Um, before, in the beta release, you had to manually create these, but just the act of binding the service to the, uh, to the application automatically creates these API keys for you um, uh, in Bluemix. You can still go ahead and add your own if you need to, um, but if you're just binding it to an application in Bluemix, um, that will automatically done, be done for you. So let's go ahead and launch our, launch our, um, our uh, Node-RED application here. And we'll go ahead and go to the flow editor here. And um, what we want to do is I've actually updated the uh, flow uh, in the Git repo to work with the new uh, IoT node. So if you go to the node red folder in the GitHub repo and you select node red flow.json, this flow, uh, this JSON object here, actually represents uh, a nice flow that you can just import into your node red uh, sheet here. So if we go to uh, the menu here and click import from clipboard and paste in the JSON. You can see we get this nice little flow here that basically just subscribes to the various events that are being published from our sensor tag and um, will uh, put them to the debug output. So if we deploy this and for example we go ahead and enable the gyro event here and go to the debug tab we see that there's events of the gyroscope coming out to the debug tab here. Um, we can also do the same thing with any of these other um, uh, event types here. So you can enable the air event type and you'll get um, data about the uh, air uh, around the sensor tag coming from uh, to your node red flow editor here. So this is just a very simple demonstration of how you can start to listen to events in the um, in node red uh, coming from your sensor tag. 
Now, uh, you also remember that we actually have um, another uh, application that's deployable to Bluemix in our Git repo here. So we have the subscribe folder here, and this contains a, um, a couple of small web applications that you can use to uh, interact with the sensor tag uh, from, from Bluemix. So uh, if we go to, um, if we open a new tab here, and we go to this uh, uh, Git repo that we already have. I already have on my um, computer here. I already have it cloned. So if we go to that directory, and all you have to do is do CF push. And this will go ahead and deploy that uh, application out to Bluemix for you. Okay, and our application is now deployed. So if we go ahead and go to sensor tag demos.mybluemix.net here, uh, we can pick uh, which demonstration we want to use. So let's go to the visualization demonstration. And we need to enter our device ID, which we have uh, printed out right here, which is our MAC address. So we'll copy this and enter that here and click connect. And we should see uh, all the data kind of be from the sensor tag being visualized here um, in this this UI. So as I move the sensor tag around, we'll see that the boxes uh, and the accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope move around. We can see the barometer and humidity data. We can see temperature data coming out from the sensor tag and being graphed here. So this is a nice way of visualizing your data. The other demonstration here is um, using the sensor tag to control a slide deck. So here we have a HTML5 slide deck written in, in Reveal.js. Uh, and you can use your sensor tag, the buttons on the sensor tags, to control uh, either going forward or backwards on the, uh, in the slide deck. So I enter my device ID, I click Connect, and then I can start clicking the buttons on my sensor tag. And we see that I can move the presentation back and forth here. Um, so these are all the same demos as before. Uh, but they've been updated to work with the GA release of the of the uh, IoT cloud. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how it works with the new uh, GA release of the IoT cloud and uh, have fun building your Inner of Things apps.